Hi, everybody. I'm Adam McDowell with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Chicago and parkbench.com slash North Center. I'm here today again with Margaret O'Connor from the Common Pantry. Hi, Margaret. Thank you so much for taking time out of your very busy days right now. Thanks, um, Thanks Adam. Yeah, let's, let's talk more about what the Common Pantry is doing right now. Um, we're obviously in the middle of a pandemic and food insecurity continues to be a problem and it is a problem on the north side of Chicago. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what, what you're seeing week to week? Yeah, thanks again for um, having me on to highlight the work that we do and the importance of making sure that people know food insecurity across the city is uh, is very salient right now, but also on the north side, which sometimes people think that there must not be food insecurity on the north side and the, um, and the million dollar homes that that are, are surrounding this church, but there are, and we are up over 150% uh, regularly uh, in demand. Uh, normally we have 300 families a month pre-COVID and uh, just yesterday we closed out the week and we had 250 families come here for uh, groceries. So and that's just one week, right? That's, that's just one week. Um, so over the course of uh, the pandemic, it's been about 150%, but if you do the math, um, yesterday would have been uh, far more than that. So we are seeing um, the numbers continue to be quite large um, in terms of people who are seeking out emergency food. And some of the things that we've done since we talked last was, of course, start the I'm Your Neighbor Meals program. Uh, which was collaborating with independent restaurants in our neighborhood. You can find that at commonpantry.org, who are allowing us to uh, put tabs on at their restaurants and our guests um, who would otherwise not maybe know where their next meal is coming from can go and ask for an I'm Your Neighbor meal from our participating restaurants um, on days that we perhaps aren't, uh, aren't giving out food. So provided that there's a tab, and anybody can go and um, maybe if you're ordering from the restaurant, you can add on to that tab, or you can of course donate to the organization to um, for us to source those tabs ourselves. Um, that's been really exciting. And also since we talked last, Adam, um, we decided to do a drive-through grocery distribution to keep people safe in the elements um, during winter time. And that was something that we started talking about in July. And we started that in November. And it's been um, really an incredible innovation and a credible, incredible way for uh, our families and our households to stay safe instead of standing out in that long line. Um, so, I mean, you, you, we've talked about a number of the innovations you've had since the pandemic started. Um, and some of them I think are, we've talked about are great ideas even beyond, uh, beyond the pandemic when things return to a, a more normal time. Um, but none of this is necessarily cheap. And between that and then the demands of, uh, of the increased demands of, of uh, clients, you guys need some help, right? Yeah, yeah, thanks. It, it, you know, it does take resources to do what we're doing. We believe that healthy food and support for um, our community is paramount to our mission. And so we do not sacrifice any of that, even if even with the demand that we've had. So we are still feeding people um, uh, produce and, uh, for, you know, so fresh fruits and vegetables every week, um, milk, eggs, meat. Um, I bought, uh, I think maybe I've mentioned it uh, in the past, but I bought my first um, half a cow <laughs> beer this year and that has not slowed down. Added a couple more of those and then some. Um, so we are purchasing quadruple the amount of food that we would in a normal year. And so we're going to need to continue that in 2021. I think there's no doubt that um, food insecurity is not going to go away when uh, when 2020 ends. Uh, it's it's going to maintain uh, pretty pretty significant levels, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna meet the demand. Yeah, yeah. I think I mean that bears repeating that even with the vaccine coming out now and, and getting distributed, this isn't over anytime soon. Um, throughout 2021, you guys are definitely gonna need some extra help. Uh, so if people need more information, either they need the resources you have, or if they want to donate. Um, you said commonpantry.org was the website? Commonpantry.org. We're also on Facebook. We're on Instagram. And they can uh, like us and follow us and post and share uh, and donate. 
actually as well. And um, certainly if they hear of anybody who needs support um, in their community, I think you and I talked earlier about um, the Wall Street Journal article I read and that it is this tipping point for even middle-class families who are living paycheck to paycheck. We know that's very real. And so even a crisis of a job loss, um, a broken car, a medical bill, anything um, can put those people over the edge. And, and pre-COVID, you know, yeah. and now that we're in um, in the thoroughs of a pandemic, um, that, that risk is even higher. And so uh, if you hear anybody that's in need, please, please send them to Common Pantry. We are a non-judgmental, very, very accepting place, and we are um, never going to turn anybody away uh, for food. Mer Excuse me, Margaret, thank you for joining me and thank you for, I mean, your your tireless work with Common Pantry, mm -hmm. you and the volunteers, uh, your staff there that's been working, I mean, overtime, overdrive this whole time. Um, mm -hmm. It's fantastic that we have people like you in this community. Thanks so much, Adam. I'm so grateful and thank you for uh, having me on today and uh, you be well and be safe and have a great holiday uh, and we'll be here uh, like we have been for over 50 years. Thank you all for watching. Please visit commonpantry.org if you uh, are able to donate or if you need any extra resources or help. Uh, they are there for you and they can use your support. I'm Adam McDowell with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Chicago, your path to home, and parkbench.com slash north center.